When I stepped on the mouths of other creatures, I did not apologize. Here, the world strips itself to kelp, teeming with flies. It comforts me, knowing gulls will pry a locked shell until it gives. I found a barnacle latched inside a barnacle's mouth, fastened to its own kind. I took it home, cradled in tissue for the journey, then startled at the sea stench when I unwrapped it. I'm a blood cage, the sort of creature who looks for God when I feel my brain spin out from my body. I think there's a tree leafing out in my throat. I never considered what the end of my life would be like, my grandmother said as I wheeled her down the corridor. I consider it constantly, in every cliff where roots strain to hang on, every chamber spiraled with sand. First, the snail died, then the crab. I offer my finger to the anemone's blind suckle. I can't feed anything. The tide carries its living and its dead together, lets the shore reveal and retreat. When does the body become distinct from the mind? We know the exoskeletal breaks. Clog of leaves. That word corridor, so much worse than hallway. Passage, permanence, forsake, forsaken. We blame the ocean, whether or not the ocean is to blame. <laughs>